Let me show the world I can take it. Take Kung Lee down. At least attempt it. Well, I was going to say, with apologies to the NCAA, we're looking at a guy with educated feet. That left foot from Yale, the right foot from Harvard, and Tony Fricklin is getting an education here tonight. Tony Fricklin should fake up high and drop down and try and see what Kung Lee can do on the ground. Don't stand there with a man who obviously is just much more dominant with you. Listen to this crowd, guys. Oh, geez. Ate the right hand. Went for the spinning back fist. The one thing I think interesting about Kung Lee's style here is he still is kickboxing Sancho. He stands up upright a little bit too much against a more experienced striker. He can get caught. Nice counter there by Frickland as Lee went for the spinning back kick. Frickland looking for the takedown, but man, Kung Lee, his striking is absolutely precise. And you know, even though he's preparing for the main event grudge match and that strike force world middleweight titles, Frickland now begins to unload Lee. Do you think Frank Shermock's got an eye on this fight after what's been said in the media about what he had to say about Kung Lee saying uh, fighting uh, Phil Baroni is like fighting Kung Lee on his day off. I, I don't think uh, Shamrock is worrying about this fight. I think Shamrock's going to have his hands full with uh, Baroni as Frickle gets rocked. Oh, boy, mama mia. I tell you what, Kung Lee is picking him apart at will landing and shots. Give it up for Frickland to pop back to his feet. Absolutely. Give it up for Herb Dean not stopping it prematurely. Well done, Jay. You're right. That shows a little bit of uh, militant in him. He does not ever give up. Ten-year veteran in MMA, he's still on his feet. But guys, I still don't understand. Now he knows Kung Lee power. Why are you standing there with that man? You got Take him to the ground. I have called fights in Saitama Super Arena with 35,000 fans. Yeah. I have never seen an atmosphere as electric for this fight here tonight in San Jose. Kung Lee and Tony Fricklin with a minute and a half left in round number one. And a hit kick. This is one dynamic fighter, guys. Hit him with the heel. It's been a heel kick. Have you guys ever seen someone like Kung Lee in MMA? This guy's no. amazing. No, not at all. Not even close. The Fricklin's also standing there with uh, his Frickland hands down. All the props, though. But he's standing there with his hands down, guys. I got to tell you, it's just not a smart game plan on his, on but, his end. But a lesser man, I think, would have already been stopped, yeah, Jake. It, absolutely. I'll give him props for his chin. But a lot of times, because there's so much ego involved in the sport, they say, you know what? Oh, oh, there there screw you. He I'm going to stand here with your style. Finds the target again with that spinning heel kick. And really, there's a... That hurt him. Kick. That hurt him, gentlemen. Took the win right out of him. And there it goes again. Now it's just target practice. This is unbelievable. Tony Fricklin getting attacked at will with every type of kick known to mankind. Look I don't know relax. what's gotten into his head, but this is not the way to attack Kung Lee. Look how relaxed threat. Kung Lee is also. Very that I'm very impressed with. This is a new sport for him, pretty much. I'm very impressed with how relaxed he's standing. He is undefeated in his embryonic mixed martial arts career at 3-0. and oh. Tony Fricklin, though, staying in the pocket, needs to try to figure something out. It looks like he may indeed survive the opening five minutes, but he's definitely going to have Reassess his game plan. Less than five seconds, and Fricklin now trying to push ahead. Misses with the spinning back fist as the round comes to a close. See Jeff Sherwood at Sherdog.com already out there, too, always covering the MMA events. And Kung Lee and Tony Fricklin, you guys, is this what they mean by the agony of defeat, Jay? <laughs> Poor, I, the hands and defeat. You're just bringing out your entire book there, aren't you, Moro? <laughs> yeah, I wrote the book. Or what, what did Phil Baroni say? That Frank Shamrock's reading the book he wrote? Well, I got a few books of my own. Fricklin and Lee. I you read Phil Baroni's book. <laughs> Listen again at these kicks. I mean the effects, the, the the impact of them. Well, the snap that he gets on those kicks, the amount of hip that he puts in, the torque that he gets. Very you're impressive. right. There you go with what Jay Glazer alluded to. But see, Fricklin is stuffed at every opportunity. Yeah, but he shot up high. To shoot. Go down low. He shot up high there. And it was only one. Keep trying it. You can't stop on one. Kung Lee's got one gear, you guys, straight ahead. I mean, and there it is again, spinning back kick. Gentlemen, this is amazing. I, I, I've just got to say, yeah. as a fan of the sport, watching Kung Lee in there is, is, is like art. I'd heard about Kung Lee. I'd seen him in his sand show. I'd seen him in K-1. But he is becoming a master in mixed martial arts, and it's all because of what got him to the dance, you guys. Yeah, but let yes. me make the statement, gentlemen. Anything can happen at any time in and, MMA. So do not. 
count out Frickland. Definitely, and we have yet to see him on the ground. We don't know what Kung Lee's ground game is like. That's exactly why Frickland should try and take him. Then Frickland sat with us two days ago and said, my ground and pound is awesome. Okay, well, take him down and let's see how awesome it is. But he also said, everything that Kung, every technique that Kung Lee has, I have also. Yeah. So maybe he wanted to stand and show that he had what Kung Lee had. Again, and look at that kick right out of the rib cage again of Tony Frickland. At least you know what you do here, guys, if you don't want to take him down, get him against the cage. Don't let him sit there and have all the space in the world to throw these acrobatic kicks at you. Well, what you want to do is take him to some unfamiliar territory right. for Kung Lee. And, and as far as we've seen, he ain't been able to do it. Oh, nice. Lots of snap to that outside cut kick. Again, going upstairs with a head. Comes back with a left right down the pipe. I think Kung Lee's just having an awful lot of fun here, guys. And Carter. look at his head moving, even avoiding the right hand of Brooklyn. And how can you not have fun when you've got thousands upon thousands, a huge crowd on hand here at the Shark Tank firmly behind you? It's interesting, too, though, guys. Usually a southpaw, he usually circles the other way, outside a guy's lead left hand. Instead, Kung Lee's going the other way. Everything is a little unorthodox with him. Oh, man, that body shock again. The shot shocking his body. And now Fricklin tries to move ahead and try to test the chin of Kung Lee, and Kung Lee does a good job of avoiding it. Fricklin talking to him there as well. <laughs> nice combination. You have you an have cut, to, followed by exactly. a midsection kick. You've got to admire the way he Absolutely. combines his strikes with the punches and the kicks. And you know what? He told us that also. He said, I don't have your basic one, two, and three. You're going to see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight coming from all different directions. I don't think he has a basic anything. And again, Fricklin going to the well and again missing with that spinning back fist, Bill. Yeah, it seems as if he's trying to cut him off and, and set him up for that spinning back fist. It's the third time he's thrown it. He hasn't landed it yet, but you never know. Friction, Fricklin actually seems like his confidence is growing a little bit, saying this guy's thrown the kitchen sink of me. I'm still here. I'm moving forward. He's a warrior, and again, he's one of the one of the early pioneers of mixed martial arts. This guy was a household name back in the day in MMA. We talked about him starting out with the vaunted Militich Academy, the fighting systems in Bendorf under Pat Militich, training with guys like Robbie Lawler, Jens Palver, Tim Sylvia. I mean, this guy's trained with some of the best. Franklin has got to be able to close the distance and give himself an opportunity to win this fight. What Franklin was doing there, guys, he was dancing around, dancing back because he was clearly hurt to the midsection trying to catch his win. He is an extremely oh, tough kid. General. And Lee catches Fricklin on the chin with a back fist. Yeah, very tough. Double tough. Though. Oh, he ate a knee right there, gentlemen. Final minute of this second round. And I don't know about you guys, but I definitely love to see a round three. This has been some spectacular stuff by Kung Lee. And here comes Tony Fricklin with a flurry of his own. the body, the head, he is everything. He is dissecting Fricklin. He is absolutely dissecting the freak. Looks at this fight, man. Uh, you're going to need a tow truck to get Fricklin out of here after it. But, man, again, i got to give it up for Tony Fricklin. Sure. The word surrender not in his vocabulary. He is willing to make it a fight tonight for these fans in San Jose. Ten seconds remaining in the round. I also got to give it up for Kung Lee for not getting overexcited after any of these shots. Very composed fight. And there's a spinning back. screen Tony Frickland in the bleach blonde hair in this corner and the third and final round of the way Bill and as you saw when they came out and touched gloves Frickland smiling man looks like he's enjoying this but if I were him I wouldn't be too happy right now those kicks up high by the way guys they're, they're like jab they're not really gonna knock you out now those ones that come like that oh that those will do that yeah, I beg the difference I beg the different Glazer man I love you but uh, don't any one of those kicks are gonna knock you there you go
Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 25 seconds in round number three. A referee in charge, Herb Dean, stops the contest. He is the winner by way of technical knockout and still undefeated, Kong Lee. Great show of sportsmanship there by Tony Frickland. He put up a hell of a fight, just simply overwhelmed. And Bill Goldberg now is standing by with the victor. Yeah, I'm here with Kong Lee. Uh, it looks like you're going to be running for mayor here soon. No, not for mayor. I'm just, uh, I'm, I just got to thank the Lord for giving me the strength for tonight. I had a rough uh, two months. Um, you know, it's just, uh, I, the, you know, the fans, you guys were so loud, I can barely hear right now. So I'm sorry I, I didn't hear that question right. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank the fans, my family, my girl for putting up with me. You know, it's, it's been tough. Two months, I've been grouchy, I've been hungry. I'm looking forward to some pizza and chocolate chip cookies. And, you know, I got to thank all my sponsors, but right now I'm not thinking straight, so it's on my shorts. I love you guys. Thank you. Okay, Kong, let's up, look up at the replay. How about this? It's the body kicks. Caught him. I, I knew if I stay on him, that side was open. I took the overhand right and caught him, and I felt like I didn't need to do more except some backflips and almost lose my balance and smash my face right there, but... That's what I did. I got to tell you, man, as, as one of the biggest MMA fans out there, thank God you got into MMA because we have never seen a more dynamic MMA spec, uh, participant. You got me flustered. I got to thank God. That, that's right. He made it all happen. And also my trainer, Javier Mendez, he talked me into it. After two and a half years, I finally did MMA and... Uh, so far, last year was my rookie year, and I think I graduated into a little bit of a pro, uh, amateur, whatever. 4-0, man. It, it, it's not like you beat somebody with no experience. Frickland has been around for a while, militant system. You, know, you should be very, very proud of yourself. Everybody, let's hear it for Kong Lee. Thank you, everyone. I love you guys. After party, it's at the Vivid. I'm going to party. And, you know, I got to thank Tony because I haven't fought that, that long all my rounds last year, three rounds put together, this was the longest fight I had. Thank you very much for the experience.